Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to stay with the Serbian campaign. This time, though, at Vranje and Bravo is for what was called the Ovke Pol Offensive Operation, which occurred simultaneously with the Morava Offensive. This time, between the Bulgarian 2nd Army, operating under German Army Group Mackensen, against elements of the Serbian military designation is unknown. Between October 14th and November 15th, 1915, Bulgarian Lieutenant General Georgi Todorov, a lifer in the military and part of the dethroning of Alexander I in 1886, commanded the 3rd Balkan Infantry Division, the 7th Rila Division, and the 2nd Bulgarian Army's Cavalry Division, which consisted of approximately 100,000 men, 52 machine guns, and 182 cannons. His opponent today was Serbian General Damjan Popovic, also a lifer in the military and who had earned his way up the promotions from private. He joined the Serbian army in 1874 at the age of 17 and retired in 1906 under pressure from the British government. He had subsequently been asked to come out of retirement in 1913 for the First Balkan War and then retired again in 1914 to only be reactivated a second time after the start of the First World War. He was commanding approximately 42,000 men, 33 machine guns, and 78 cannons. Also like Morava, he was outnumbered approximately 2 to 1 by the Bulgarians. The winner today was Bulgarian General Georgi Todorov and his Bulgarian 2nd Army. Once again, like the Morava operation, resources are slandered for Western Front, so not as much details included here as we would prefer. The winter was still harsh, and the Serbian defenders were secured in their positions when the Bulgarian army decided it wanted to seize the Vardar River Valley and cut off railway lines between Skopje and Thessaloniki. This was to stop any possible resupply or reinforcements sent by the British and French to the Serbian defenders. The focus of the attack was Kumanova, and unlike the Morava offensive, the Serbians did not do well in the initial attack, being pushed back quickly. In an attempt to stop the offensive, the Serbians counterattacked, and for a while it looked dicey until the Bulgarian cavalry division aided the Bulgarian troops, pushing the Serbs back to Valais and Vardar. The Bulgarian army had obtained its goal of Kumanov, and during this time those same forces also engaged with two French divisions, beating them at the Battle of Krivolak, which we will cover later in the series. The final losses are not fully tallied, but sources say that both sides suffered, quote-unquote, heavy losses. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.